Dramatic video out of the panhandle where deputies unleashed several rounds on a suspect already in a patrol car. And they thought they were being ambushed, but turns out the truth is actually stranger than fiction. Eden is in our newsroom to explain Eden. And Calvin Nicole, one of the deputies heard what he thought were shots being fired from the back of the cruiser. Investigators say what he actually heard was just an acorn and now his overreaction cost him his job. Newly released body cam video showing what triggered a wild chain of events in Okaloosa County last November. Deputies responding to a call from a young woman claiming her boyfriend stole her car and was sending her threatening messages. He puts his hands on me or he threatens to put his hands on me. It gets very violent. There he is. In your car or walking up? He's walking. As deputies are filing a report, the suspect in question walks up to the scene. The woman tells them he has weapons and a silencer, but she isn't sure if he's armed at the moment. I've got no weapons on Hands out your pockets. Okay. Authorities pat him down, put him in handcuffs, and then in the back of Deputy Jesse Hernandez's cruiser. That's when the situation took a turn. Deputy Hernandez opening fire at his own patrol car, believing he heard gunshots. His partner seems confused, but also fires her weapon and watches as Hernandez falls to the ground. Shots fired, shots fired, I got a deputy down. I, I'm, I'm good, I feel weird, but I'm good. I don't know. I might have hit my vest. Several minutes of chaos and confusion go by, with Hernandez unsure if he was actually shot. I don't know. I felt like it. Dude, am I hit? Let's get further back, further back, further back. The sheriff's department concluded what he heard was not gunfire. Instead, it was the sound of an acorn hitting his car. And amazingly, all the bullets missed the suspect inside of that cruiser. As for Hernandez, uh, he had only been with the department for less than two years. He has since resigned. And while investigators determined his actions were unreasonable, they decided it did not warrant criminal charges.